Hello everyone and welcome back to the much awaited for part two of this bedroom makeover. Um, if you haven't watched part one, I would suggest you go watch that one first. I'll link it below in the description box for you. And then once you've watched that one, um, you can come back and watch this one. Uh, right now I'm just doing a recap of what all we got done in the part one. Uh, we did a lot of prep work before we started painting, just some um, pulling out some nail holes, filling the nail holes, sanding, washing the walls, and the trim work. Um, and then just prepping for painting and then we painted all the walls and the trim and We did the trim in just a nice white and then the walls we did in a um, off-white color and Then we have an accent wall that we did um, on the back side and we did um, the bottom half of that in a nice navy blue and I still just love this color blue I really like how this turned out um, I just love the dark color and how it just pops out on the walls and so that is what we got done last time and so now we are ready to start with the accent wall here I told you I was going to do something with this so we are going to take these one by two boards I have them all pre-cut already um, and we are going to set these up um, on an angle first of all I'm just finding the center to where I can find my center point here um, to build these up and then I am just nailing them onto the wall um, with my air nailer and making sure they are fastened securely and then I'm going to go on the other side and I have it all marked um, you can't really see um, but I have it marked down on the trim where every piece needs to end up at and then I also have the center marked so I know where each center point needs to be if that makes sense um, yeah just you can kind of see how I'm doing it and then on the sides I'm gonna do the opposite points like coming down if that makes sense um, yeah you'll see here in a little bit how it all comes out so we're just gonna work on that um, and pardon the bad camera view here And then we're just going to keep going here um, once I have the tallest points um, I'm going to go ahead and do two more underneath that and again just measuring everything making sure everything is centered and not crooked um, yeah before I nail it down and I'm sure there would be a more precise way to do this than what how I'm doing it but you know this is just how I did it and it worked out fine The way that I did this wall, this is just how um, I prefer, um, just a little more simpler and not just one by twos all over, you know, in all kinds of different directions. Now I, these walls are pretty um, when they have more of a pattern and all over the place, but I just wanted to keep it a little more simple and just do a little bit here and there. All right, and then once we are done with all these boards, we are gonna go ahead and patch all the nail holes and then the splices where the wood comes together. Just patch everything up, get everything smoothed out, 
and then we'll go ahead and sand it then a little bit later. Right, and now for the top piece, I'm going to put a couple braces here on the top because I'm going to put a trim piece up here on the top. But first of all, I need something to hold on to the trim piece. So I'm going to put a few um, little blocks here on top just to, especially where the splice will be and um, so forth, so that when I nail down the top trim piece, there'll be something there to hold on to it. All right, and then I just have this simple L-shaped piece here, um, this corner piece here that I'm gonna put on top of the wall piece here. Um, and then I'm just gonna nail it into my wood pieces along the way and then also on those little blocks that I put in beforehand. And now this L-shaped piece is just like maybe a 16th inch wider than these one by pieces that I put on earlier which is perfect for what I'm going to be doing a little bit later on then. And I hope I'm making sense here as I go, um, but yeah, hopefully you can kind of watch and just see what I'm doing and how I'm doing it. Then once I get this all nailed on, I'm going to go ahead and patch up these holes as well um, to get those nice and smooth. And now we're going to go ahead and go over everything with a piece of sandpaper to get it smoothed out before we start with the painting. And we're going to start with the dark blue paint over here on the corner and we're just going to go ahead and get everything painted. And then after the first coat of paint, I did go over it once it had dried with a second coat um, just to get a good finish and this covered it very well with the second coat then. All 
All right, now next we are gonna take these uh, wired lights that I had gotten from Amazon and then also these clips. Um, they're sticky on the back side. So we are going to take our wire and unspool it and then we are going to first of all make sure your lights work, plug them in, make sure they work um, because this is going to take some time and you don't want your lights not to be working once you get it all done. Um, so we're going to take those clips and um, put the wire in the clips and then we're going to clip it to the inside of that L-shaped trim. Um, put it up inside there and this is where that little extra sixteenth of an inch comes in handy that we had um, so that the wire I can just shove it up in that little space there it stays up there it's tight and it's not going to fall out and then also um, I can clip it up in other areas and so we're going to go ahead and do a double string of this wired light all along this wall up in that trim. Yeah, like I said, this did take a little bit of time um, to get the wire up in there and to get it secured, but the end result, I loved it. And then also I took those curtain rods that I had in the bedroom, I took them outside and I just gave them a couple good coats of black spray paint. Um, it was a, like a matte spray paint and I figured this would go a little bit better with the room. Right, and so here we are back in the room. I'm gonna plug in the lights, see how it looks, and I love the end result. Um, I think it just looks so cozy. Just a little hint of light coming out from under that trim. So that is gonna be it for today, and I can't wait to see you in part three.